This video will demonstrate how to use Selectricide to decontaminate irrigation water and maintain a clean irrigation system. You will learn how to deliver water to your crops that has less algae and microbial contaminants by injecting an ultra-low Selectricide concentration of 0.25 parts per million. This demonstration will show you how to generate or launch a Selectricide concentrate in a 5-gallon bucket, how to prepare a stock solution of 300 parts per million, and how to monitor Selectricide delivered through an irrigation line. Launching Selectricide Selectricide comes packaged in a moisture-sealed envelope. Inside each envelope is a dry pouch called a 12G. To generate or launch a concentrated solution of Selectricide, one 12G is placed in a 5-gallon bucket of water. Your distributor carries a Selectricide starter kit that contains the recommended 5-gallon bucket, which requires a tightly fitting cover, along with Selectricide and easy-to-use test strips. To launch the Selectricide concentrate, first fill the bucket with water. Open the 12G envelope by cutting along the dotted line. The envelope is also heat sealed below the cut line. Peel open the heat seal, remove the 12G, and place it in the bucket. Do not cut or damage the 12G pouch in any way. Damage to the pouch's membrane will lower the yield of chlorine dioxide. The dry pouch may float initially. It will sink slightly as it absorbs water during the launch period. Cover the bucket tightly and allow the 12G to generate the chlorine dioxide solution over 12 hours. A convenient routine is to launch Selectricide at the end of the day and allow an overnight generation period. Use caution when opening the bucket and handling the concentrate. The Selectricide concentrate is not dangerous to touch, but does act as a respiratory irritant if inhaled. We recommend wearing a carbon filter respirator when handling the concentrate especially in poorly ventilated areas. After opening the bucket, remove the 12G. Simply discard it as trash. Stir the solution before testing the concentration. Chlorine dioxide is heavier than water and will settle in the bucket during launch. The yellow color is the color of a chlorine dioxide solution, not a dye. To confirm the solution's concentration, use the wide-range test strips provided in the starter kit. Dip a test strip into the solution for two seconds without swirling. Match it to the colored references on the side of the vial and read the corresponding concentration. One 12G should generate approximately 500 parts per million in five gallons. Preparing a 300 parts per million solution. A recommended 30 gallon stock tank with tightly fitting cover is available from your distributor. To prepare a stock solution of approximately 300 parts per million, add 7 gallons of water to the stock tank, followed by 5 gallons of concentrate. When mixing solutions, always add water first, then add the Selectricide. Selectricide is chlorine dioxide gas in solution. Chlorine dioxide is very soluble in water. However, over time, it slowly leaves the solution as a gas. This is called off-gassing. In order to minimize off-gassing, Avoid agitation when preparing the stock solution. This is the reason for adding the water before pouring the Selectricide concentrate into the tank. Here, we created agitation by adding water in order to show off-gassing. Notice the visible vapors above the solution. Remember, the gas is an irritant when inhaled at high concentrations. Once the stock tank is filled, stir and confirm the concentration using a new wide-range test strip. To further reduce off-gassing of the stock solution, add the plastic spheres which come with the stock solution kit. These spheres form a floating barrier that reduces the surface area of the solution, thereby minimizing off-gassing. Cover the stock tank securely and maintain records of your Selectricide use. Monitoring Selectricide Delivery in the Greenhouse 
While a concentrated solution of selector side has a yellow color and noticeable odor, a concentration of 0.25 parts per million is colorless with a faintly detectable smell. Monitoring the irrigation water coming through the lines to the production area is easy with ultra-low range test strips. In the production area, run the water outlet to be tested for at least a minute, then collect a small sample. Using ultra-low range test strips differs from wide range in one aspect. The ultra-low range test strips should be gently swirled during the two second dip in the solution. A concentration of 0.25 parts per million corresponds to a very faint shade of pink. Continuous injection of selector side at a residual concentration of 0.25 parts per million will maintain a clean flow of water through your irrigation system. This demonstration illustrates how easy it is for you to realize the benefits of chlorine dioxide, the most effective sanitizer known to man in your greenhouse.